They're changing tomorrow. We're looking at near record heat before we get a nice cool down starting Thursday and actually really chilly mornings coming up as we head into the weekend. The rain mainly finished at this point. We only have a very low chance for a shower tonight and tomorrow during the day ahead of that cold front late in the day tomorrow. Right now 81 and we did have all that rain earlier, but temperatures, even though they dipped into the 60s in a lot of spots under those rain cooled areas with those downpours this morning, they did recover cover to near 80 degrees. Lots of moisture still pumped in, although we're just not getting a setup for tomorrow for a whole lot of rain, even though it is coming ahead of a front for tomorrow night. Our temperatures this evening, though, in the 70s. Here is the rain all left our area now to the east. This is the warmer air that has moved in, and here is the front that we're going to get moving into tomorrow night to cool us down for Thursday. Little surface low here in southern Texas as well, but most of our rain is at an end at this point. As I said, Today, looking back from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m., this is our loop with radar. And look at this. It came in, it just hit the North Shore, and it really didn't make it too far south of the lake. I got a tiny sprinkle at my house, a few sprinkles just for a minute or two. Other than that, things were really active, mostly north of the lake. Bogalusa got almost two and a half inches of rain. Some other North Shore spots and Mississippi spots up to about a half inch really not much at all south of Lake Pontchartrain as it was just kind of clipping our northern spots and then continue to the east. Here's our high resolution model, our severe risk over at this point. Looking at tomorrow morning, we'll have some clouds and we'll have kind of a mixture of clouds and sun tomorrow. It'll feel humid, breezy, warm. And here is the front and note ahead of that, there's a little bit of spotty or isolated rain not looking at severe thunderstorms, although a little bit of lightning or thunder could accompany the front moving in late. Probably after sunset, we may have a little thin line of rain very quickly passing on through, but really not expecting a whole lot of activity with it. This is Thursday morning, by the way, sunny, cooler, breezy, and just the beginning of what will be a really nice cool stretch all the way through the weekend. Looking at the severe risk, by the way, for tomorrow, earlier in the week, we were included under a low end severe risk, but now it has shifted farther to the east and that level three, that higher risk for severe storms, that's kind of centered around parts of Alabama and into the Atlanta area over much of Georgia too. But for us, just the very fringes of Washington, Pearl River County, and then Hancock County are under the officially the marginal risk, but I really don't think we'll see all that much. The rest of our area not looking for much rain and not looking for the severe threat either. So we can kind of put that to rest for the rest of the week at least. Tonight, low temperatures around 70 degrees. Some models showing a little bit of patchy fog shouldn't be a big issue, but you might encounter that very early tomorrow, perhaps. And then during the day, we'll be near 86 for the high. Tomorrow's record high is 89. So we probably won't actually touch 89, but it just depends on the temperatures for that particular date going back as far as the records go. For example, today's date, the record was 86, but we only made it to 81. So record heat and record warmth and record cold. It's just kind of funny how it depends on just that particular day's date, even though it might be just as warm. Warm, humid, breezy conditions tomorrow. Your seven day forecast ah, looks so good, doesn't it? Starting Thursday in the 50s and then look at Friday through Sunday. North Shore in the 40s for the morning. South Shore temperatures around 50 and maybe even Saturday morning. South Shore and New Orleans temperatures dipping into the upper 40s, lower 40s north of the lake. Lots of sun, nice low humidity, a nice breeze Thursday and Friday. In fact, might be kind of windy those days as the trough of low pressure kind of gets uh, eventually away from us. And then by early next week, we're warming up again with some rain chances entering the scene Monday and Tuesday. All right, thanks so much, Alexandra. Our area.